Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Alan, and today I want to talk to you guys about five species that gave Force users like the Jedi and Sith a headache because they're in one way or another Force resistant. Starting off the list is the Epicanthix. They were a near-human warrior species with an average height of 2 meters. They had an average lifespan longer than most humans at 130 years. Named after the Epicanthic fold or the fold of skin that covers the lower eyelid, Epicanthix were coveted for their ability to resist force persuasion as well as shield their thoughts from force sensitives. It was this ability that made them excellent spies to implant amongst force sensitive groups like the Jedi or Sith. The Yinchuri were an extremely aggressive reptilian species from the world Yinchur. They towered at 2.4 to 2.7 meters and had an average lifespan of around 80 years. As a species, they possessed an incredibly strong spirit and were highly resistant to force manipulation. Their midichlorians were able to form force devoid bubbles around their hosts. It is theorized the Yinchuri developed this trait through evolution after surviving some past threat that utilized the force. Their society lived by the motto, might is right, but this emphasis on brute strength made them also very easy to manipulate. They were discovered by the galactic community in 500 BBY, but were considered not advanced enough to join the Republic. It wasn't until 58 BBY that the Yunchuri joined the Galactic Republic with the help of Higo Damask, aka Darth Plagueis, the master and mentor of Darth Sidious. Darth Plagueis was fascinated by the Yunchuri's force resistance. He approached the cloners on Kamino and requested an entire army of Yunchuri to be made. However, this experiment failed and players would go on to commission the Grand Clone Army of the Republic. Darth Sidious would later see the Yunchuri as a threat because of their force resistance and stubbornness and manipulated the species into attacking neighboring planets. The Yunchuri uprising, as it would become known, created instability in the Galactic Republic and several Jedi would lose their lives fighting this threat. Next up were the Huts. The Huts were a giant slug-like species and their average height was around 3 to 3.9 meters. Huts were a very impressive physical specimen. They had the ability to hold their breath underwater for long periods of time. They could regenerate body tissue and even essential organs. And they are also hermaphroditic and able to reproduce with themselves. Huts are immune to force persuasion techniques. It is unclear exactly why, although it has been reported that some huts have unique brain structures with some individuals even capable of having multiple brains. Next up, the Yuzang Vong. The Yuzang Vong were a warrior species from another galaxy. Their average height was around 1.8 to 1.9 meters. Their average lifespan was around 76 years. Unlike all the other species on the list, the Yuzang Vong were completely devoid of the Force. This trait allowed them to swiftly overcome the New Republic's Jedi Guardians. The only Jedi or Sith powers that seemed to affect the Yuzang Vong were Force Lightning and other techniques that manipulated the space around the Yuzang Vong such as using telekinesis to send objects flying towards them. A few Jedi were able to develop Vong Sense, which allowed them to be able to sense the Yuzang Vong. This was usually after the Jedi were shaped or combined with the Yuzang Vong's biotechnology. It was discovered that the Yuzang Vong existed outside the Force because... The Yuzang Vong had a symbiotic relationship with their original homeworld of Yuzantar. When that homeworld was destroyed by infighting, the Yuzang Vong were ripped from the Force and suffered great mental anguish. The Yuzang Vong believed this suffering was punishment for their sins against the living gods and began to worship pain, which slowly twisted the species into the monstrous form it was when it invaded the Star Wars galaxy. And last up are the Toydarians. Toydarians are a flying species from the world of Toydaria. The average height of this species is around 1.2 meters, and they had an average lifespan of around 91 years. Despite their disproportionately small wings, Toydarians are capable of flight because their bodies are extremely light and are able to absorb gases. However, Toydarians expend a considerable amount of energy maintaining flight. Many of the earliest conflicts on Toydaria involved battles for food resources. Most Toydarians have a very finely tuned business sense, which is bolstered by their ability to resist force mental manipulation. It is not clear why Toydarians have this ability to resist the force, but it is theorized the structure of their brain makes it difficult for force users to manipulate them. Others say that it's because of the strong will of this species. So guys, thanks for watching. As usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.